Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, let us see the implementation of basic gates using 2 is to 1 multiplexer. First, let us see what is 2 is to 1 multiplexer. 2 is to 1 multiplexer is a data selector. Depending on the select line, the data available at the input will be selected as output. When this select line S is 0, A as output. When S is equal to 1, B will be our output. You can see in the truth table, when S is equal to 0, Y is equal to A. When s is equal to 1, output y is equal to b. By using this functionality, we can implement all logic gates using this 2 is to 1 multiplexer. Now let us implement NOT gate using 2 is to 1 mux. As you know, NOT gate will be giving the output complementary to input a. If a is the input, a bar is the output. When a is equal to 0, output will be 1. When a is equal to 1, output will be 0. So let me treat this as my select line a. When a is equal to 0, we know that this input will be selected. So I am going to pass 1 from here so that output will be 1 when a is equal to 0. When a is equal to 1, this input will be selected. So I need to pass 0 so that I will be getting output as 0. This is how we can implement NOT gate using 2 is to 1 mux. Now let us see AND gate. AND gate will be having a functionality of a dot b means when the both the inputs are 1 1 and gate gives output as 1. So this can be implemented using 2 is to 1 mux like this. Let me take one of the input as a select line. So a will be my select line. When a is treated as select line, I need to first pick the first input as output when a is equal to 0. So in the true table of and gate, if you observe a is equal to 0 will be these two cases. In these two cases, a is equal to 0 and output will be obviously 0 irrespective of b. So when select line a is equal to 0, the first input will be selected. So I am going to pass 0 from here directly. When a is equal to 1, when select line is 1, the second input will be selected in the multiplexer. So when the select line is 1 here, the output will be 0 1, which is same as b you can observe. So I am going to pass b from here so that my output y is equal to a dot b will be the functionality. This is how we can implement AND gate. Next we have R gate. R gate gives the functionality of A plus B. Means one of the input is true, the output will be true. This can be implemented using 2 is to 1 multiplexer by selecting any of these two inputs as a select line. Let me take A as select line. When A is equal to 0, as we know, the first input will be selected. Here the output y is equal to a plus b will be same as b when a is equal to 0 0. So I am going to pass b input from here. And when a is equal to 1 1, you can see the output will be 1 irrespective of b. So I am going to pass 1 from here so that the output will be a functionality of a plus b. This is how we can implement R gate. This makes the implementation of basic gates using 2 is to 1 mux. In the similar way, we can implement other gates also. Let me discuss that in my next video, how to realize universal gates using 2 is to 1 multiplexer. Thank you.